Hello everyone, welcome back to the chapter 20 of Hematology that is G6PD Deficiency. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's begin. G6PD Deficiency, it is a genetic disorder which is characterized by decreased levels of G6PD which is glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. The decreased levels of this G6PD will lead to the destruction of RBCs in our body. Now let's understand the pathology. Normally we see free radicals for example hydrogen peroxide or H2O2 in our body. These free radicals damage the cells by destructing the DNA, proteins and the cell membranes. Now there is a molecule called glutathione which is an antioxidant. This neutralizes these free radicals. So this glutathione molecule binds with the free radicals and neutralizes them. Glutathione in order to function these have to be in reduced state means these have to give the electron to these free radicals that is hydrogen peroxide and it forms the oxygen and the water. So these glutathione becomes oxidized when it gives the electron to the free radicals. Now this oxidized glutathione should be unoxidized for its function. So there is glutathione reductase which uses the NADPH to give the electron and make the oxidized into an oxidized state so that it can again bind to the free radicals. So when NADPH loses the electron it becomes NADP plus. NADPH is very important as we use the electron to form the glutathione into the unoxidized state. So NADP plus should be converted back into NADPH which is done by our today's hero G6PD. As we discovered earlier this G6PD deficiency is due to mutation in the gene G6PD gene. So it is present on the X chromosome hence called the X linked recessive genetic condition. It is exclusively seen in men. In men, the chromosomes are and Y. If X is defected, then that will lead to the condition. Whereas in females, there are two X chromosomes. If one is damaged or mutated, the other manages. Now in G6PD deficiency, due to this deficiency, there are many many free radicals in the blood. So these free radicals, they cause the hemolysis of the RBC, especially of the older RBCs. The free radicals also affect the hemoglobin in our blood denaturation forming the Heinz bodies. These Heinz bodies present in the RBCs when these RBCs pass through the spleen, it considers them as some foreign body and the macrophages attack the RBC and bite the RBCs and there are some cells which are bitten in the circulation hence we can see the bite cells in the bloodstream. Now RBCs when they are destructed or hemolyzed in excess uh, it leads to the globin and heme formation where bilirubin is formed and excessive hemolysis will lead to jaundice. So here you need to remember three things the Heinz bodies because of hemoglobin, bite cells because of uh, spleen macrophages and formation of jaundice. Let's understand the etiology of GCPD deficiency. Now in G6PD deficiency the main thing is there is increased free radical production because of uh, which there will be oxidative stress present. Now these things such as infection will lead to the oxidative stress such as viral hepatitis, pneumonia, metabolic acidosis will also cause oxidative stress, foods and drinks such as soya products and red wine and certain medications such as primiquin and the chloroquinin. 
so such all things will cause the g6pd deficiency which will lead to hemolysis now let's understand the symptoms of g6pd the main symptom is jaundice as we discovered earlier or discussed earlier the second thing is dark tea colored urine due to excessive bilirubin present in the urine and there is back pain due to kidney damage when there is jaundice and there are other anemic symptoms such as fatigue tachycardia and hypotension and many other anemic symptoms now the diagnosis of the g6pd deficiency blood tests now these blood tests there is decreased level of rbcs due to excessive hemolysis there is decreased level of rbcs increased level of reticulocytes now whenever there is less rbcs there is form erythropoiesis taking place continuously but due to the premature rbcs coming into the circulation we can see increased level of reticulocytes increased level of ldh which is an intracellular enzyme seen in circulation increased bilirubin as we discussed earlier due to excessive hemolysis and decreased haptoglobin which is a molecule which binds to the free hemoglobin combs test this is used to detect immune mediated anemia so to rule out immune mediated anemias we have to do this and in g6pd it is usually negative next we see the blood smears in blood smears we see the white cells and heinz bodies because of the hemoglobin and the spleen macrophages now there is a definitive test for g6pd deficiency it is enzyme assay as i said it is a definitive test and it detects the level of g6pd in the blood so treatment as i said g6pd is a genetic condition hence there is no cure to this disease so we have to avoid some known triggers so during the hemolytic episodes the patient is to be hydrated and blood transfusion can be done depending on the severity of the disease thank you for watching the video